The title of our study was An Investigation into the Relationship Between Equine Behaviour When Tacked Up and Mounted and Epaxial Muscle Hypertonicity or Pain, Girth Region Hypersensitivity, Saddle Fit, Rider Position and Balance, and Lameness. I'm Sue Dyson and my co-authors were Anne Bondi, a British Horse Society instructor, and Jenny Routh, and Danica Pollard, previous colleagues at the Animal Health Trust. The reasons for abnormal behaviour during tacking up and mounting have been poorly documented, although it has been my clinical observation that after long-term resolution of musculoskeletal pain and appropriate saddle fit, behaviour often improves. The aim of the study was to determine the association between the behaviour observed during either tacking up or mounting and the presence of epaxial muscle hypertonicity or pain, girth region hypersensitivity, ill-fitting tack, rider position and balance, and equine musculoskeletal pain as manifest by either lameness in hand or ridden and abnormalities of canter. This was a prospective observational study involving a convenient sample of 193 horses owned by amateur and professional riders, the majority of which were presumed to be working comfortably. The details of the assessments made and how behaviour was documented are described in the paper. The key findings were that the rate of abnormal behaviour during tacking up for horses with moderate or severe lameness, as determined by a combination of observed lameness and the ridden horse pain ethogram score, was 1.4 times higher than for non-lame horses. The presence of tight tree points of the saddle or epaxial muscle pain were also associated with higher behaviour scores during tacking up. The frequency of abnormal behaviour during mounting was less than during tacking up. However, horses with lameness either in hand or ridden had 1.5 times higher rates of abnormal behaviour during mounting than non-lame horses. Moreover, Higher total static saddle fit scores were associated with higher behaviour scores during mounting. Other significant findings, such as the effect of work discipline, are documented in the paper. So what were the key points of clinical relevance? We identified a high proportion of horses with musculoskeletal pain, which appeared to have an influence on their behaviour during tacking up and mounting. There was a high prevalence of ill-fitting saddles and their influence on behaviour and performance highlight the need for regular saddle fit checks. Clearly, we require more education of owners and trainers about the importance of correct saddle fit and how saddle fit should be assessed. Veterinarians must also be aware of the factors that can influence horse behaviour during tacking up, mounting and ridden exercise. All these aspects are discussed in greater depth in the paper. We are grateful to the many people who enabled this study to be performed. We particularly wish to acknowledge the generous funding from World Horse Welfare. <laughs>